Since the onset of a cholera outbreak in Zimbabwe in mid-February, over 600 suspected cases have been reported, along with 14 deaths. The cholera outbreak is receiving national attention, with a vaccination program having been lined up. Mirai Nsingo was on the ground to hear from some of the people that survived the disease. Panic and fear. That describes the environment around Seventy Close in Budiri Rohan. It has become the epicenter in this high density area in Harare. A 15 year old girl from the Close is lucky to be alive. <laughs> Progress Mutamba recalls how her daughter was rushed to Nazareth Hospital after she started vomiting and had diarrhea. At least three more family members presented with the same symptoms the same week. This community has been lacking running water for years and sewer constantly flows past their house. Following the outbreak, for the past three days, the local authority has been providing water through a container. Neighbor Tendai says the local authority has let them down. While no deaths have been recorded in the area yet, the residents fear for the worst. The recent outbreak has invoked the 2008 outbreak memories. Harare City Health say they are doing everything possible to contain the situation in the wake of this outbreak. Surveillance is one of the key pillars of response, so we want to be able to pick new cases in our suburbs early. So. If you identify anyone, whether it's somebody you're staying with or somebody from the neighborhood, please let us know, let the health uh, inspectors know. The government is working on measures to contain the outbreak before it worsens. In light of the continued increase in cholera cases, a multi-sectoral approach to responding to the cholera outbreak is being enhanced with focus on addressing water and sanitation in affected areas. It's an outbreak getting serious with each passing day. And the sooner all stakeholders put heads together, the better.